in the topic of ship stability or advanced ship stability today i'll teach you guys how to apply the moment of inertia or the second moment of areas in a certain question all right so in that regards i'll take up a worked example here which will help you to understand how these uh, moment of inertia is applied in a numerical all right so let's get started so in this example there is a cylindrical drum 4 meters in diameter the kg of the drum is given as 2.1 meters and the drum is floating with its axis right angle to the water line at an even keel draft of 4 meters so although this is an example using a cylindrical drum the basically the same principles kind of apply even if it's a, a ship all right so the idea here is to explain the application of the concept of moment of inertia uh, whether it's a vessel or whether it's a drum it doesn't matter then uh, 50 tons of fresh water is taken in a drum and a weight of 8 tons is kept on deck at a kg of 9 meters 1 meter from the center line find the list the drum will take so you can see from the question that if i replace the drum with the word ship it pretty much applies to a ship all right where you can load in some 50 tons of water and you can keep a weight on deck and then you can calculate the list of the ship so it doesn't matter what shape it is what matters is the application so below is the couple of drawings i have drawn to understand uh, how the whole uh, the how to interpret the information given to me in the question in some kind of a drawing format so that i can get an idea or i can visualize what is happening here uh, and then that will help me to apply the formulas uh, better all right so if you have any doubts just come back to this diagram and try to understand uh, how the whole thing is working i have drawn it for you as well as for my understanding here so the idea is to find the list at the end so we'll first start with the finding the weight of the empty drum or we can say what could be uh, the light displacement of a vessel that is the weight of the vessel without the uh, fresh water being loaded so how can we find out the weight of the empty drum it's pretty much like finding the displacement of a vessel so you multiply the underwater volume by the density of the water in which it is floating so it is floating in sea water at density 1.025 so you can see I have put in the values pi here as you know can be considered as 22 by 7 or 3.14 whichever is suitable to you you can take either of the values so use that value and put in the values of the radius uh, of the drum as well as the length of the drum so when we say length of the drum we are talking about the underwater volume underwater volume height so the underwater volume height here uh, or L here becomes same as the draft the radius as you know is half the diameter the diameter is given to us as 4 meters so the radius will become half of 2 so radius is half of the diameter which is half of 4 meters which is 2 meters so put in the values here and you can get the displacement of the empty drum before the fresh water is taken now we know the weight of the fresh water that is 50 tons so if we have to find the volume of the fresh water taken in the drum we'll divide the volume by density this is the symbol for density so volume by density gives me the mass of the fresh water so 50 by 1 because 1 is the density of fresh water will give me the volume of the fresh water taken which is 50 meters cube therefore sounding of water in the drum once the water is filled in the drum up to what height is the water filled in the drum can be calculated by volume divided by the area so volume divided by the area will give me the height of the drum so because it is a cylindrical shape i just use the vol area formula as pi r square and 50 divided by pi r square that is volume divided by area gave me the height up to which the water was filled in the drum so in this case the kg of the water will be half the height of the water filled that is 3.979 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.9895 because the center of the gravity is at the center of the height of the water up to which it has been filled to find the final kg take moments about the keel so first use the weight of the empty drum multiplied by its volumetric center of gravity at 2.1 which is given to us in the question so we can see in the question the kg is given to us as 2.1 that is the kg of the empty drum and then you get the volumetric moment then take the volume of the weight of the fresh water which is 50 tons 
multiplied by the kg of the fresh water just we calculated above from here 1.9895 and then we get the second moment and then finally the weight of weight which was kept on deck of the drum is 0 0.8 tons the kg is again given to us in the question and we get the third volumetric moment then what we do is we add these three together 51.543 plus 50 plus 0.8 and we add these three together to get the final volumetric moment so the final kg will be total volumetric moment divided by the final displacement after the weights have been loaded so 214.871 divided by 102.343 will give me the final kg now the free surface correction can be found by the dividing by free surface moment by the displacement as you know if the water is free to slosh about there will be free surface effect in the drum or in a vessel as well so that can be calculated by the free surface moment can be calculated by multiplying the moment of inertia by the density so we've been talking about moment of inertia but we have not yet applied it so moment of inertia multiplied by the density of the fresh water which is inside the drum divided by the displacement so moment of inertia is uh, calculated as pi d4 by 64 where d is of course the diameter given to us in the question is 4 meters pi you know 64 is a constant so this is pi d4 by 64 this is the displacement w and this is the density 1 and this is of fresh water which is inside the cylinder and then free surface correction is 0 0.123 meters that is the free surface correction then we have to find the final km transverse so final km transverse will be equal to final kb plus bm transverse so for that to find kb we have to find the draft first so final draft will be equal to final underwater volume divided by the area because again that will give me the height up to which the water has been uh, or, or rather the draft of the vessel it will give me the draft of the vessel because uh, first you loaded the fresh water and then you put a weight on deck because of which the vessel must have sunk further or the drum must have sunk further so you have to find the final draft it is no longer four meters so it will be more than four meters so final underwater volume is also equal to final displacement divided by the density and then pi r square remains where it is multiplied by 1 by pi r square so we have the final displacement above is 1.02 102.343 density is 1.025 because this is the density of sea water where the vessel is floating multiplied by 1 by pi r square is you know that 2 square because half of 4 and you get the final draft kb is always equal to half of draft so kb equals half of draft which is equal to 3.9725 meters then we have final bm final bm is the final moment of inertia of the water plane area divided by final underwater volume again the moment of inertia is calculated by pi d4 by 64 for a cylindrical shape multiplied by 1.025 that is the density divided by the uh, displacement now where did this come from because we have to find the final underwater volume the underwater volume is nothing but equal to displacement by density because displacement equals underwater volume by density so therefore underwater volume will be equal to displacement by density and over here you have to find underwater volume so underwater volume will be displacement by density and that's why because it is in the denominator the density will go up and the displacement will be in the denominator so I found out my final BM transfer. Then all I have to do is find my final KM transfers, which is equal to KB plus BM transfers that I have found out. I add the two values together and I get my KM. Then I have found my final KG. I will subtract my final KG and get my final GM. From my final GM, I will subtract my free surface correction. This will be final GM solid. So if I subtract my free surface correction, I will get my GM fluid. Finally, we have been asked to calculate the list, so or the heel or list, list actually because it is due to the weights. So the weight, the formula for the list is tan theta equals gg1 by gm. Gg1 is nothing but the shift of the weights divided by the displacement. So gg1 equals shift of the weight, the weight multiplied by the distance, weight multiplied by the distance by which it was shifted or it was placed, divided by the final displacement. 
so the weight was of course 0 0.8 given to us in the question it was kept one meter from the center line right divided by the final displacement that we have calculated above after taking in the fresh water as well as putting the weight on top and the gg1 is being calculated as 0 0.0078 meters so tan theta will be equal to gg1 by gm where gg1 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0.0078 divided by gm that i have calculated above that is gm fluid then take tan on the other side tan inverse of this value will give you a list of 0 degrees 14.8 minutes and list is on one side so if we assume that the weight was placed on the starboard side as i have shown you in the diagram the list will be to starboard list will be to starboard side of the vessel so i hope uh, you understood how to apply the moment of inertia and the second moment of areas in this question again this is a cylindrical shape in future i will try to take some other shape and show you another example here uh, this is important for you guys uh, who are studying advanced stability for uh, either naval architecture or as a mariner or seafarer thanks guys i'll see you soon with my next video